look at Hollywood Boulevard tonight. Los Angeles, of course, where this year's Emmy Award nominations were announced early this morning, celebrating the best in primetime U.S. television. Well, let's check in with pop culture commentator Kim Linekin, normally in Vancouver, today in Victoria. And Kim, this may surprise people on their couch surfing through dozens of channels saying nothing's on, but mm -hmm. really, television has never been better. Well, they do call this the golden age of television, and I think the Emmys are pretty good this year at reflecting that. All of the changes going on in television are reflected in these different categories. Uh, you know, HBO is still dominating, especially the movies and miniseries categories. Uh, we still have a lot of, uh, a few network shows that are getting a lot of love. Um, the Good Wife, uh, Modern Family among them. And, uh, of course, Netflix is the big story in the Emmys last year and this year. It's uh, Emmys totally embraced streaming series, so House of Cards and Orange of the, is the New Black. Um, are both getting a ton of nominations this year. And kind of where they're falling down on the job is um, seeking out the little shows on the smaller cable networks. Um, I think, you know, the, the shows that get a lot of hype on Netflix and HBO and, and the big networks um, still get a lot of Emmy attention. And things like Orphan Black on BBC America, not so much. So that's where I can criticize. But otherwise, I think the Emmys did a pretty good job of reflecting just this crazy transition that we're in between, uh, you know, big networks, HBO, and streaming series. And in terms of quality, you know, not only the show is really good, but we're seeing, you know, A-list, I think, uh, actors uh, who end up being yeah. on television. You know, in the old days, uh, there was a real uh, tier between TV actors and movie stars, but that seems to be breaking down a bit. Well, it's, it broke down a while ago. I think what a lot of actors are noticing is there's better roles on television. Uh, Matthew McConaughey is sort of an interesting example in that he's kind of going back and forth. He was able to make a big splash on True Detective last year. I think that's because it only was eight episodes, so it is kind of, for him, just like shooting a long movie. But, uh, you know, there, there's still kind of the Julia Roberts who will only do a TV movie like The no Normal Heart, and she kind of expects she's going to get an Emmy, no Emmy nomination for that. Uh, but there have been a lot of actors like Kevin Spacey who have just said, you know, creating my my own series like House of Cards is the way to go and he'll stick with it for many seasons to come. This is the kind of day, the day of the nominations where people can point excitedly at the show they love. I'm one of those who loves House of Cards. I know you yep. love Game of Thrones, a, a TV show so good, although I haven't seen it, that they're <laughs> they're showing, they showed one of the episodes at movie theaters. Yes, so the, the, the season finale of Game of Thrones this year was shown at 29 Cineplex theaters across Canada, I think just across Eastern Canada. But to me that kind of shows, I mean this is now HBO's most popular show ever so um, you know it's it's not just a small niche show anymore it's kind of risen from the sci-fi fantasy ranks to really even be embraced by the Emmys this year with 19 nominations but I find it spectacular that it's being shown in movie theaters that to me is kind of a sign that TV is the dominant medium now and uh, it's even literally taking over movie theaters uh, on Netflix um, I heard that 70% of what people watch on Netflix now is previous seasons of TV shows movies are hanging on to just 30% of the business so if we need any more proof that TV is where it's at. I think uh, Game of Thrones and Netflix show us. A lot of people will look at the nominations to try to figure out what shows they should catch up on. And, and I know that, yeah. uh, you know, you mentioned Orphan Black. That's one that you'd like people to watch, even though it was snubbed by the awards. Kim, always nice talking to you. Thanks so much, Ian.